Uh, my name is Lindsay Corbin and I'm a professional triathlete from the USA. Yeah, um, I'm here in Kona. I am getting ready to race for my 13th time as a professional, so it feels familiar to be back here, but um, every year the lead up to the race is different. Um, the excitement is different and yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm just super grateful, um, really healthy, strong. I feel fit and so it's kind of rare that you get all those to come together for one race. And so yeah, I'm just grateful that things have come together and I just want to capitalize on that and um, yeah, give my best effort and hopefully have a great day on Saturday. I think the biggest thing I've learned racing here is just to race your own race um, and to race with confidence and, and back yourself and know um, that you've done the preparations. Um, definitely in the past I've made the mistake of getting caught up in other people's races or I got to get to the front of the race or feeling pressured about who's around me and that usually doesn't end up, it makes for a long marathon. So the run is my specialty um, and I definitely look forward to that so I want to make sure I'm ready for the run. So yeah, just race your own race, stick to your plan and know it's a long day. You know, a lot's going to happen out there and so you just got to be ready for it. <laughs> Yeah, so I raced Ironman Wisconsin again this year, which um, is five weeks between Ironman Wisconsin and Kona. And I did that double last year. Um, I won Wisconsin both years, so it's been a good race for me. And I think if anything, it's actually helped my preparations for Kona. Um, I think a lot of the big miles and sort of heavy lifting um, to prepare for Kona are done in July and August. And so having an Ironman sort of on the docket for September to do, I think sort of forces you to get in those big miles. And um, generally I would do a big training day anyways, um, around five weeks out. And yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, I race best when I'm happy and Wisconsin is just a really fun race, um, great venue, great atmosphere. And so, yeah, you gotta follow your heart sometimes and um, do what you think's best. And so, yeah, it's kind of a variety of reasons, but um, worked well last year. So fingers crossed this year as well. <laughs> I would say I probably visualized most the swim. Um, I am a land-based athlete, so feel a bit like a fish out of water in the swim. And so I just know how important it is that first part of the swim to maintain contact with that main chase group. Um, so yeah, I would say in my visualizations leading up to this race, it's just been the swim. And then the other part is just that last 10K of the marathon. I think that um, a lot can happen. You can either move up 10 spots or you can move back 10 spots. And I think mentally that's probably the hardest part of the race is just that last hour of the race. So I'd say the two places I visualize would be the swim and the end of the run. Yeah, um, I've really enjoyed training with Heather. We usually do a winter camp together and then um, the last couple years we've gotten ready for Kona together and uh, she's such a wonderful person. We actually are exact opposite athletes. So Heather goes out like a cannon and has that really high end ability that I'm super jealous of. And I'm the diesel engine of the training group that just doesn't slow down. So it's kind of a beauty of opposites attract. But Yeah, I'm a non-music person race morning. I usually, honestly, a race like Kona, you gotta take in the whole atmosphere. So I love like the sound of the birds, you know, as you're walking under the banyan tree to drop off your bags. And um, my favorite part of the race actually is the drummers playing right before the start. Um, I actually have a song on my playlist that I train to that is the drummers playing. So um, I actually love the atmosphere. So I'm a no music person and I like to smile, talk, say hi to people. It just keeps the mood relaxed. So no game face here. <laughs>